Merhaba and welcome to 2016. 2015 has been a fantastic year for iPhone though. I even got my play button from YouTube, which I cannot wait to unbox. I'm also launching my Twitter and Facebook in English. Twitter.com slash iPhone and Facebook.com slash iPhone You know what they say, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, not maybe for CES because I was at CES this year and it was fantastic. So I thought, hey, it's my wife's birthday. What better way to celebrate than take her to Vegas to a convention where she cannot come? Spider-Man. is here. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll open up the boxes and tell you what's in it. Before I get into CES and what's happening in CES, I'd like to show you my room. Won't hide away. From me Can't run from Oh my god, you killed Kenny! Let's look at this Beautiful, let's look at this That's beautiful too Now let's look at the bed Oh, very nice You know what I like to do in the morning? Try to wake up Oh! So let me take you to a journey of my CES adventure. Here we go. To me, it was like an amusement park. I was ridiculously happy with everything around me. I mean, look at that Toyota Kikai. The design that brings hidden machinery to an open display. Or this Toyota FCV Plus. And yes, FCV stands for Fuel Cell Vehicle. How about this EDAG autonomous concept car? And inside of it, Bosch's new touchscreen technology with different textures and haptic feedback, which makes you feel like you're pressing a button. Wait, what is this? Autonomous cars for ants? Then there's Mercedes IIA, a concept car introduced in September 2015. This car has no door handles. The door opens when you touch the top side of the window. And its designer didn't bother masking the windows before spray painting the car. IIA transforms into a more aerodynamic shape when it reaches 80 km per hour, which makes 50 miles per hour in case you don't know it. The front bumper extends, front flaps come out, its spaghetti strainer inspired wheels alters their cupping from 55 mm to zero, and the rear end extrudes like a rectal prolapse and IAA becomes more aerodynamic. Where have I seen this before? Oh yes, SPM. When I saw iProducts, I thought to myself, No, iProducts, Chewy, we're home. So it's a portable, collapsible VR viewer. This is it when it's open. If you want to take it on the go, you can just whoops, close it right up. And then when you're ready to watch, you just pop it right back open and put your phone back in. Welcome to Okta. Here we have our tablet tail system, seven individual components. The heart of our system is the spider. Pop open and accept any tablet of any size. iPad Air, Samsung, Microsoft, doesn't matter. We can hold that tablet. So this is called Sixth Sense Technology. It protects your iPhone like a tempered glass, but it also transfers the top two functions on the phone from here to here. I've touched here, and the sensitivity is down on the bottom. And of course, there were a lot of car stereos that supported Apple CarPlay. Of course, one of the most impressive things in CES was Faraday Future.
course, if you are wearing a skirt, you have to watch out for the way you're sitting. Especially if you're stopping at a red light. People may stare at you. And they may see the deer. It's amazing. Yeah, augmented reality. And then I went to the Gibson Center, or some people like to say Gibson Center, and I jumped. BMW revealed this BMW iVision Future Interaction Autonomous Car at CES. For me, the most exciting moment was when I got to drive the BMW i8. Up display. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I8 is one of my favorite cars, and driving one was a lot of fun. And then I went to DJI and I said, Osmo, that should be mine. That Osmo belongs to me. You want to give that Osmo to me and no one bought it. One thing I found hilarious was FAA had a stand right in front of DJI. <laughs> that was so funny. Drones were a big part of CES this year, but I had my eye on this black DJI Inspire. And then I went to Sphero and I got to see the new watch that you can control the Sphero BB-8 with. And that was really interesting. But you can see that Kevin is controlling the BB-8 using his force powers, slash force man. And then I saw the traitor. Traitor! Traitor! Of course there was music and I got to witness a wonderful drum player playing solo. I love VR, but at the same time, I am kind of scared of it. And I think you look really weird from outside. And since I had the press pass, they knew who they were dealing with. They were like, sir, sir, you're press, sir. Yes, I'm press, what do you want? Would you kindly talk about our product? No, no. That's what I do as press. I have a different approach to things. And then I spent some time drooling over this Nikon D500. And when I was chatting with the guys from Steadicam, I saw this prototype. It's called Steadicam Evo and it balances itself. It is motorized and if it runs out of battery, you can use it just like a Steadicam smoothie. And it folds. I walked by the Samsung area where they reveal their Apple products. I didn't really care about it, but I got to see Samsung's Apple Watch. That was nice. As I was walking around, I went to GoPro and I wanted to ask a couple of questions about their products. But since GoPro sees itself like an unreachable celebrity, it was difficult to find a representative that was down on earth. Of course, the great thing about CES, it is in Vegas. So once you're done with CES, when you walk outside, there are a lot of things to do, a lot of places to go, but still, I wanted to be back in CES and I cannot wait to go back next year and explore much more than I did this year. Look at the 
This guy's fake. So that's it, you guys. This was my CES 2016 experience. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. I should get out of this bathtub probably. And after taking 20,000 steps, maybe lay down on my bed. All right. See you guys on the next one. Aliens exist. That's the biggest question. In this entire universe, are we alone? Are we the only planet that can sustain life? And if we are, how come we, we didn't destroy it so far with our shitty attitude? Let's ask this question to a random person. Excuse me, sir. Do you think aliens exist? Excuse me, sir. Do you... Uh, is that your wife? Is that your partner? Please put your hand down, sir, where I can see it. Is that a weapon, sir? Is that an alien sort of weapon you're carrying back there? Are you drunk? Is this, is this, is this your ship? Did you come, come in this? There's no parking here. I don't see your permit. I guess we need to tow it, sir. So the biggest question, I think, is answered. There are no aliens. Thank you very much.